Most people believe that extroverts are naturally better at dating. And while that might appear to be so, simply because they're friendlier, more outgoing, and they meet more people, which gives them more people to date, when it comes down to actually maintaining a relationship, introverts have a secret weapon. You see, extroverts find it really difficult to be introverted, which means once they do get back to their home life, if they're not dating another extrovert, then they have to kind of like put on this chill vibe, which might make it easier to connect with them. And that's very hard for an extrovert to do. On the other hand, it's significantly easier for an introvert to be more outgoing when they're out and about to meet lots of people just like an extrovert. But then when it comes to being in their home life, they go back to their natural introverted behavior, which is not only easier to be around, but actually it lends itself much better towards that more intimate kind of vibe when things are going, you know, that sensual direction. After all, it's really hard to set the mood when somebody's bouncing around the rules and really excited and talking about how much fun they had during the day. Now, if you're an introvert and you'd like to learn how to appear more outgoing, it's all about developing your tolerance for being in social situations. The more you spend time alone, the harder it is to hold conversations down and maintain them. So I recommend the first thing to do is to set a regular weekly social event. Now, this doesn't have to be something you organize. It can be literally just attending a class on a regular basis or going to a networking event. And initially going to this thing is gonna feel like pulling teeth. But after a while, it gets easier and easier as you develop that social bone. And before you know it, you're out there once a week meeting people on a regular basis, and then you get to go home afterwards and spend the rest of the week recharging, getting ready for doing it again. As you start to build up more tolerance, then it's worth organizing another event that is just for you and some good friends. A smaller event where you have a bit more intimate conversations, and once again, you start to continue to build up that tolerance that makes it even easier to be more outgoing. Lastly, one of the biggest differences between an introvert and an extrovert is they've done lots of studies that have shown you can see an introvert or an extrovert simply by the way they look when they're not communicating with everybody. In short, extroverts tend to rest with a smile on their face and introverts tend to have, well, resting introvert face. And while there's nothing wrong with that, it does give extroverts a natural advantage when it comes to meeting other people because a smiling face is a more approachable face and it makes it a lot easier for them to start conversations. By practicing that basic smile when you're out and about in public settings, not all the time, but just at times when you want to be talking to other people, you should find it a lot easier to meet others and that gives you the superpower of the extroverts while still retaining the superpower of the introvert. Another thing that can really help introverts when it comes to dating is to get good at written messages. What I'm talking about is text messages. And I've actually got a guide called Three Simple Texts, which outlines the basic three text messages that anybody needs to know to make sure that they can boost their dating life, their social life, their personal life, essentially send messages in a way that gets people to want to respond back to you. And if you'd like to learn what those three simple text messages are and see just how much they can help you and your social and dating life, then make sure you look for the link somewhere in the description of this video that you can click on and download the guide completely free of charge. So go there and do that now. And of course, thank you so much for taking the time to watch the video. Uh, if you're not currently a subscriber, consider subscribing and hitting that notification button so you don't miss out on all the other videos. Thanks ever so much.